Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. It is Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. And we have quite a market going on here uh, this morning. So how about we grab something to drink, settle into our nice comfy office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So everyone, looking at the Dow here, my goodness, we pushed up in a relentless way yesterday. We shook off any concerns over the uh, uh, coronavirus situation, the growing death toll. Um, a report came out suggesting yesterday that we could expect a GDP to be halved, um, uh, maybe more. Um, because of the impacts, but the market doesn't care. It just doesn't care um, about these impacts. And the only thing that's happening here is we're relentlessly pushing up. Now, what's interesting in, in these moves is that we're seeing the breadth of the market is actually uh, slightly declining. Let's take a look, or in a downtrend. I'm gonna show you uh, T2101 which is an absolute breadth of the market. And notice that our absolute breadth, even though rallied back up from these lows, we're continuing to stay in this um, downtrend in absolute breadth. Now what that means is that what's going on is that we're seeing these markets continue to be pushed up with fewer and fewer companies um, being the leaders, um, we're getting stocks like Microsoft, Microsoft moving up. And I don't know about you, but that is a parabolic move in that chart. But Microsoft yesterday became the um, largest company in the world by valuation yesterday, as there seems to be just no end to the willingness of folks to chase or, or buyers to chase yield in this market. It's very reminiscent of um, 1999, the 1999 tech bubble um, sit, you know, period, but economic conditions are far different than they were back then. And we actually have a really good underlying economic um, stability right now with good employment, um, those kind of things. But still, we have absolutely no concern as to how far we push these stocks up. Um, valuation um, um, or price to earnings growth doesn't seem to matter. We just we're just buying, um, rapidly buying these stocks. And it's the few market leaders, it's a, those select market leaders, Amazon um, being another, being pushed up yesterday in this relentless move. And I also believe uh, Amazon is certainly in that parabolic move here um, to the upside. So just a relentless push up by those market leaders, but we're seeing overall stocks kind of struggling a little bit in different places, um, showing some weakness. If you just look through the um, the components that make up the Dow, there are not very many of those stocks in the Dow that look like the kind of stocks you would want to buy. So let's take a look and see what's going on here as we continue to push higher and push higher and push higher in this market. As you can see, we pushed up into this resistance area in the Dow. So we're up here testing this level in the Dow and you can see we're looking at a gap up open and that gap up open may actually push us out to new record highs in the Dow today and pushing, pushing, pushing uh, to the upside. Right now, Dow futures are indicating a gap up of nearly 100 points and continuing to push as the morning goes on. They're just unlimited buying uh, seemingly going on here in the market. So we may get that new record high here at the open um, this morning. I want to caution everyone to be careful not to chase stocks that are very extended in their move. Make sure you're buying good value stocks, stocks that are testing support levels, those kind of things so that you're not taking too much risk. And also be very, very careful not to become over complacent. It's it's easy in a market like this to just kind of throw caution to the wind, 
become over complacent thinking, well, the market's never going to go down. Um, people have been talking about that it should be going down for a long time and it's never going to go down. So I'm just going to jump um, headlong into this. And that can be very, very dangerous. So be careful not just um, chasing into this because it could reverse it at any particular time. We could wake up and say, wait a minute, these impacts um, are going to be bigger than <laughs> than we can um uh, we can support uh, well bigger than what these prices can support and so um just kind of keep that in mind let's watch that close and let's make wise decisions on this and not get caught up in the emotion of this market let's take a look at the spy spy making new record highs yesterday just banging right on through no concern whatsoever of coronavirus that's it's if it wasn't even happening um it doesn't seem to matter so we're pushing up pushing up pushing up big bullish engulfing candle yesterday and we are looking at another gap up open here this morning um new record highs being made at the open this morning let's take a look at the cues the very similar situation in the nasdaq nasdaq has been the strongest of the index pushing out to new record highs as they continue to push up those big tech sectors Google Amazon uh, Microsoft those big techs leading everything and lifting the entire market right now and as you can see we had this little tiny consolidation here pushing on through buyers just um, uh, chasing anything that they can trying to catch that yield um, right now in the market and also gapping up to new record highs this morning in the Nasdaq IWM little bit of trouble here still we are still showing that downtrend in play but we did hold this price support yesterday that's a key support hold so we've got a little bit of a wedge type pattern but you can see IWM gapping higher this morning as well pushing on up we're just relentlessly buying and um, pushing 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 to that upside so this could actually break that downtrend here today and maybe continue this little uptrend breaking through that wedge we'll have to wait and see let's take a look at the VIX I think it's interesting that the VIX although it had a response yesterday it wasn't a big response yesterday um, we seem to be just kind of hanging out right around this area right below this um, resistance in the chart now keep in mind that we're we've got a little bit of price support in here as well and we're just kind of wedged in this area and there's that downtrend and I suspect this morning with the bullishness we're going to move a little bit lower we'll want to watch that closely but the VIX just uh, we're just not showing fear here um uh, i have to be honest with you i struggle with this a little bit in the sense that i don't understand why there is no fear when we're seeing the impacts starting to roll in um, they're talking about cell phone manufacturing down as much as 30 percent um, electronics uh, manufacturing collapsing over there in uh, China and putting pressure on US companies um, all of these things um, uh, auto parts um, companies closing and 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 looking for new suppliers of parts because they can't get the parts that they need all of these things starting to show those impacts but right now the market doesn't care so I don't quite understand how we how we want to ignore this right now but we're using the short-term earnings results to really drive the market right now and that's the only thing we seem to be concerned about so um, while we're showing this I'm really worried that what we've got going on here is a bit of complacency and a little too much complacency for my comfort level so keep that in mind um, I'm not trying to suggest bearishness is on the way or anything like that but just um, just have that really um, sick feeling in my stomach that we're becoming so uh, incredibly complacent that there may be problems um, down the road here soon that we'll have to deal with let's take a look at t2122 
it's the four week new high new low ratio and you can see even though we had new record highs made yesterday notice that t2122 rose but did not rise significantly that's an indication of just a few select stocks pushing the markets up and the remainder of stocks not showing that kind of gain or growth but one thing i will tell you is that we've pushed back up into this median area up here around the 50 percent area and as you can see that opens up the door we still have a big upside opportunity here in t2122 and also that big opportunity to the downside it's not giving us direction certainly futures are saying higher um, i would um, really caution everyone of chasing into that morning open just in case we find some sellers up there so watch this closely bulls are definitely in control and they have an absolute desire to just push the market higher let's take a look at what's going on in the economic calendar today because there could be um, some impacts today from things in the economic calendar as you can see we have jerome powell speaking here at 10 um, a.m eastern time now i doubt we learn anything new from what he what he says but if he happens to come off as a little bit um, dovish the market may react higher if he happens to come off a little bit hawkish the market may um, move lower but i doubt we get any more detail in um, current fed policy today as he speaks just something to pay attention to he is out there talking we also have the job openings report here at 10 o'clock um, that can move us around a little bit but that's looking to stay pretty stable overall and notice what we've got fed speakers all day long we've just had this parade of fed speakers and that will continue uh, for the next couple of days so keep that in mind um, note that jerome powell also is speaking tomorrow so another day of um, heavy fed speak that we'll have to be aware of on the earnings Earnings front over a hundred companies reporting earnings today we have quite a group um, reporting um, let's take a look at a whoops let's take a look at a few of the stocks by the way for anyone who doesn't know I post a morning blog every morning um, on on our website and if any of you are interested in that you will find in the description of this video the uh, about the first line down there in the description of the video is a link back to the blog if you want to read uh, this morning's blog that's available for everyone if you uh, take a look at some of those earnings reporting today we have AK um, AM AK AM um, we'll be reporting today. We have Denny's. Denny's reporting today. We have um, D. Dominion reporting today. We have Hasbro reporting today. Looks like Hasbro's gapping up this morning on its report. Lyft is reporting today. Looks like it's moving a little bit higher this morning on its report. Masco some of those building materials um, reporting um, later on today. LPX, Louisiana Pacific, also reporting uh, later on uh, today. Um, Under Armour, UAA is reporting today. It looks like it is gapping lower on its earnings report. Western Union reporting this today as well um, and, and, and so we've got quite a few reports out there some market moving reports that we'll want to pay attention to Goodyear tire reporting looks like they're gapping lower so lots of lots of issues um, uh, could be moving the market around either upside downside right now futures are just pointing um, all kinds of bullishness to the upside and looking at some of those big techs they've been extending uh, their uh, their runs from yesterday um, at the open today so big um, big news continuing to push this market around and look pretty good so with that everyone hey let's if you could do me a favor if if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos hopefully you're finding that these videos are useful to you
and that um, the purpose of these is not to provide hype or not to uh, give a prediction as to where the market's going to go, but to really focus in on the details, the technicals on how the market is performing and what is going on there. If you find that helpful, please also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It helps to continue to grow the channel and I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. And by the way, I do, I do my very best job to answer all of the comments um, in the video um, section. So thank you very much for taking the time to do that. You guys are the best. So with that, let's take a look at some things that could be setting up here, some stocks that um, I've been paying attention to. And um, let's um, remember that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell any security, just merely stocks that could be setting up that you want to evaluate and maybe put in your list for potentials down the road. Let's take a look at Newmont Mining. You know, I think it's interesting that we're seeing um, conservative issues, what would be largely considered conservative issues such as gold, gold mining, those kind of things, holding really good patterns. Gold moving nicely yesterday and you can see we have a potential setup here in Newmont Mining. A little bit of a tight consolidation in here. I'm watching this chart to see if that can pop on out. As a matter of fact, if I put my drawings on there, you can see I have a price alert on that chart right there. As that tries to hold in that trend, we'll see if gold can move on through but Newmont Mining looking pretty good could be setting up as a matter of fact GLD gold itself continuing to rally that always makes me nervous when I see the market rallying um, just like crazy rallying seeing gold also rallying as everyone is looking to find some security um, in the market so uh, just be careful with that gold continuing to move up. You may find um, other stocks like um, uh, GOO Gold, Barrick Gold, uh, trying to show signs of moving up as well with that sector getting stronger. Take a look at SPLK. SPLK I mentioned in yesterday's video. That's firing on up and looks like it might be moving a little bit higher this morning. So nice little rally, nice little trend pull back and firing on higher here this morning. Beautiful price pattern, SPLK continuing to look very, very good overall. SPCE, I mentioned this one yesterday as well. Nice little rally, hold of price support in here as you can see, pulled back, firing on through to the upside. Looks like it might extend this morning. I would be careful chasing this, but what you wanna do is wait now for that next entry into this trade, looking really good overall, so keep an eye on uh, on that stock. Uh, other stocks out there to pay attention to. Best Buy, BBY, breaking this little downtrend. We rallied through it, broke the downtrend, pulled back, held support, bullish engulfing candle here, trying to push on higher. Might want to watch this for any upside potential. BBB, or excuse me, BBY, looking very strong um, at the end of the day yesterday. How about AMD? AMD breaking its downtrend here and really took off yesterday, pushing up here, breaking out and looking like it wants to move higher still this morning. So keep an eye on AMD. I, again, I wouldn't want to chase this this far in the move, but wait for that next um, potential entry into that trade. We'll want to watch that one closely. Take a look at stocks like Monster. Monster setting up, continuing to hold trend nicely, consolidating in this nice tight move here over toward the trend. We want to watch that for that next opportunity to push out. And to give you an idea, those beverage companies that I mentioned yesterday, continuing on, um, I mentioned these in, in yesterday's uh, morning video to keep an eye on those, um, moving on up, showing strength here here and Coca-Cola, uh, PepsiCo, 
uh, moving on higher yesterday. I also mentioned shop. Shop uh, breaking my alert yesterday, moving higher. As you can see, Shopify continuing to move up. Now you want to make note that this is going to report earnings tomorrow. So it's going to make it very, very difficult to trade, but something to pay attention to as that continues to gain some strength. Another chart that I really like this morning is I really like this potential setup in Johnson & Johnson. J&J has moved up nicely here, now pulled back, found its trend here in the chart. By the way, this line up here represents nothing. This is blue sky above. That was a short strike that I had on the, on the, uh, the chart. And as you can see, possibly moving a little bit higher here this morning. So watch this pullback could be an opportunity for a trade. So lots and lots of stocks to look at, lots of things that you could potentially react to. Please remember to be careful not to chase stocks. We want to find these stocks that get this pullback, that hold in there, find the good support level where we have low risk in the trades. Trades like this SPLK, where our stop loss can be relatively close. We don't want to be chasing those stocks like um, Microsoft that are well within a move and uh, very parabolic. That would be a, an absolute chase and putting us a tremendous risk risk of a pullback. So keep um, keep that in mind as you look for those trades. Look for those nice little pullback um, opportunities that are setting up. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all great profits. Once again, please click those subscribe buttons and thumbs up buttons. Leave comments if you feel the video is worthy. I want to thank everyone for being here watching the video today. And if you have um, any questions, comments, feel free to drop those in uh, the chat section below. I would truly appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll talk to you bright and early. Wednesday morning.